All right, guys. Um, interesting episode today because I'm I wanted to do this for a while, mostly because I'm getting a lot of messages about like local companies trying to partner up with me on like a performance basis. And this episode is just making sure I'm I'm like running some numbers live on uh, this channel to show you guys what it means if everything goes well. Um, I'm effectively trying to steel man the argument that you should partner with me. So playing the other side, like why you shouldn't partner with me. And I think it's important for everyone to watch this video before they decide to work with me. Um, mostly because I'm a for-profit company at the end of the day. It, this is not a charity. So if we do well, we will need to be paid for it. And especially if we're on a performance basis, we're even more aggressive. So make sure you watch this and uh, let's get on the creatine. Right, here we go. Um, guys, it's been great getting back to a routine. Really enjoying this. Uh, yeah, here's to many more days of routine. Here we go. All right, let's go. Alrighty, so yesterday we did about thirty-eight fifty in total revenue. Amazon at fourteen hundred, Mediavine at fourteen thirty, and OnlyFans at nearly a thousand dollars. We'll just call it a thousand. Um, quick note: if you want uh, to like just see all the granular numbers plus my um, daily show notes, first link in the description, and then match it up with the episode number, and you'll see what I'm talking about. And uh, also, if you are if you watched up to here, I know it's early on. I just want to do an early CTA, but can you just comment local SEO for the YouTube algorithm? Really appreciate it. Cool. So, um, ordered revenue yesterday, 26.3K. Uh, okay. Multiply that by 54. So, you take 26.7, multiply that by 54, and that's how you get to the estimated Amazon revenue. It's slightly higher than that. I just underreport. Um, End of the month, you'll see what I'm talking about. Levanta, uh, Levanta, forty three and dollars and seventy eight cents. Should I stop reporting this? I don't know. Um, I'll just keep doing it for a while and keep you guys posted. Um, let's talk about today's episode. All right. So, um, quick plug: sign up for the advice community. Shit's popping. Um, yeah, mostly because. My SOP is launching soon. We're just kicking out some people in Circle because what. Uh, so advice is hosted on circle and most of the conversation happens on slack but what i've noticed with circle is if people stop paying they're still in the circle so it's fucking weird so we have to we're, we have a team that's manually going and kicking people uh hopefully we get down to uh yeah to the proper numbers today uh because the first module is ready and i'm excited to launch it um anyways so this is the steel man of partnering up with me on a performance basis. Um, just know what you're getting into first and foremost, <clears throat> because as mentioned earlier, I am a business. I'm a flaming capitalist. So if I were to take on anything on a performance basis, if I perform well, I will take a huge piece of the pie. That That is in itself something you have to watch out for. But um, let's just run through a scenario. And plus, what I'll be doing is exactly what I'm highlighting in the local SOP that I'm launching in the, uh, or course, local SEO course in my advice community. That's exactly what I'm, I'll be doing. So if you want to still, if you still need my help or you don't have the upfront budget, I think we can partner up. But I'll just be, you You can essentially do it yourself and keep all the margins if you want. But obviously, I will bring some other stuff to the table, like areas where you can increase your margin. If you're spending too much on hosting, on your web developer, my team will take over there. But um, just make sure your math is mathing. Let's talk about it. Let's take a, I don't know, 50K a month construction business. Let's say you're running that in, I don't know, but fuck like a tier two city in the U.S., that's quite common. You could you could easily do that. Um, let's say your margins are twenty percent, trillion twelve months. So you're doing fifty k a month, trillion twelve months at twenty percent margin. That's 
10k a month in net profit you spent your last five years grinding this up and then you're trying to grow this yourself you see some fucking asian guy eating creatine who promises the world and you're sold right so you sign up for an aggressive contract we go nuts we we implement everything we promised let's say it works well all right we triple your revenue same margins which isn't likely because your margins will probably uh increase based off of um some some of our other tactics but yeah let's say stagnant for the argument's sake 30 percent uh 30k a month in profit right um you're probably thinking oh that's great uh you just split the 20k a month uplift with index e 50 50 you keep 20k i keep 10k all good right 20 because 20k is greater than 10k in your pocket Well, that's not necessarily the case. So this is when everything's good. And now what happens is I effectively effectively own all future uplift from now on. What if this becomes a fucking billion dollar company? We start expanding into different cities. You you literally cannot get rid of me. I don't know. Some sketchy fucks out there have done this in the past. Maybe they take cash on the table. If I suspect anything, I just hire local Craig craigslisters and it's included in the contract so if i find out that you're doing something like that i'll I'll see you in court like we have the fucking uh uh, dry powder to do that um and then the damages are huge so all i'm saying in this episode is to know exactly what you're signing up for you really have to be completely busy like running your business and have no time or mind space to implement the strategies that I've been teaching you. Cause I'm, that's all my team is going to be doing is running the strategies I've been talking about. There almost no uh, deviation from that. So you can do it effectively by yourself. But if after watching this episode and you still want to partner up, you still think there's a huge upside in working together, DM me on Twitter. Let's get it started. Um, I think I got about like 50 inquiries. I'm going to send them all this video. And if you guys still want to do it together, let's fucking go. We'll make a fuck ton of money together, especially if you have a local address. All right. If you have a local Google My Business location already in the central area of the city you're operating in, I can almost guarantee that will kill, will absolutely kill it. Um, yeah, that, that, that's all. Um, guys, that's the episode. I'm going to answer some questions now. If you like, like episodes like this, I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, comment local SEO for the YouTube algorithm, uh, but let me know what you guys think. All right, Volter says, local keyword research, what kind of volume, keyword difficulty, cities and niches to go for. How do you choose the best ones with examples? Sounds good. I'll do that in the, uh, the lo- uh, rank and rent side. Right now, I'm doing the local SEO module, so that's just the snack pack. Um, absolutely, we'll do that. Um, sounds good. What I found is a big lever for turning non-business people into businesses is the document templates. For example, email proposals, contracts, subcontractor briefs, website page layouts. For me, a course with that is 10x the value because of the action to take them all becomes sales and delivery. Uh, Marcus, sounds good. That's your course launch. Well done. Thank you. Course with Algo. One helpful thing for the course would be seeing a week by week record of rankings and how many places you jump. This gives a benchmark. We can then compare our efforts versus what to expect and troubleshoot if needed. Sounds good. Tiffany says, the day is here. Can't wait for the course. Thank you. The advised community has already paid for itself. It says Elliot. Guys, let me tell you right now, the amount of value that it's bringing is crazy. If you can even make a hundred dollars a month from my videos, you guys owe me an advice subscription. All right. Uh, we're closing the doors real soon. I think we'll hit it by the end of the month. Thanks so much for the content. Looking forward to a public case study for a harder niche like roofing and HVAC. I'm doing HVAC already. Um, I'm doing it in public well, in semi public in the advice community. So check it out. I'll take the course. Haven't watched the full video yet. Sounds good. Watch Geo. What's going on? SEO, local SEO course for the algo. Hey, Jackie, looking forward to courses. 
and appreciate you setting that up. Question, once you have a GMB for rank and rent, how do you rank it co- and compete with other GMBs to get to the top of the snack pack? Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, it's just local SEO. Check out my local SEO um, videos. Love your videos. Never saw anyone sharing this type of stuff, especially daily income reports. Really interested in their local SEO course. Sounds good. Will be available to peeps outside of the advice community. I can't get in there yet. Paulo, come on, get in there. Um, uh, no, full stop. Any suggestion for calculator which can capture leads? Um, sorry, it's not something I've done recently. Jackie, do you know if there, you getting a virtual address will suffice to pass GMB verification today? No, no, unfortunately not. While you're getting a Portuguese passport, if you're open to talk about it, can you elaborate more? So... You need five years of physical residency there to be eligible to get a new, uh, get one. Are you on the special type of golden visa? No, I'm on the standard one. Fascinating stuff. One of the most powerful passports in the world. Um, so with the golden visa, you just need to be in Portugal for two weeks every two years. Um, and you can maintain residency there. And that's just how it works. Uh, no, actually, it's not residency. You just maintain whatever the, I think, I guess it's called residency, but yeah. New PR just opened up a service business with this course help get more exposure online. If you ever Google my local uh Google my business um location, it would help, yes. But if you're it depends on the service. If you're doing online services, it won't really help, right? Course for the Algo. I have a project where I sell AI generated application headshots in Germany, the local and organic SEO course sounds perfect for me. Am I right or wrong? I th- think you're wrong actually you might not need this this seems like a easy b2b email outreach play rank around the course thank you phineas thank you um here's at google buy this and rename it things to penalize in 2024 that's what i'm saying join the advice community for the algo motherfuckers all right lastly dude this guy says all those fake daily earnings and things finally to sell a course typical internet scammers guys Imagine I spend the time creating fake screenshots and videos like of this. Imagine I spend all this time creating and making sure they align every single day. How do you even do that? I wouldn't, I wouldn't even know how to begin to start. Um, but, and plus guys, I've been clapped this year. There's, there's no, there's no fake screenshots here. Imagine if I go from 182 K to, 50k a month and i'm faking that should, should, wouldn't i just always be on the up if i'm faking it at least that that's insane to me um but shout out to this hater i guess uh messi is not the goat and take it easy i'll see you guys tomorrow probably do a live stream tomorrow um should i schedule it now nah, we'll, we'll do it in problem too we'll see who shows up on a saturday um but yeah that's it take it easy guys